Today is the 24th of August, 2013, and uh, got my sister's music playing. Thanks to uh, the generator, I have sound, and it's um, such a big bonus. But I'm here alone. Um, put in the uh, hot water on demand with a Bosch tank that's in the basement, and here is the pipe that is underneath this table. I was really lucky enough to uh, find this beautiful oak table for twenty dollars, and it it didn't ha I didn't have to do anything to it. There's a pipe underneath where the uh, I can't see it where the gas comes through the emittance, um, you know, the vapor from the uh, propane tank, and this is the only place where I could uh, put it so that it would go outside with ease and put the piping out there. So. This table for $20, this pure oak table, has turned out to be an absolute winner. All I had to do was slide it over the pipe that's coming from the basement to the outside. Talk about a, a streak of luck that that table had my name on it. So today it's pouring rain, on and off it has been for about the last four days, but uh, between that, I've got some done. Here comes the racket. Pouring rain, and there is the propane pipe and I'm going to put a, a box around the lower portion of it to insulate it and so it'll go up maybe eight feet and uh, and that's as good as it's going to get. So pouring rain, generator is making a racket going back inside where it's nice. People next door, the Carols, they really like my uh, the tank that is um, hot water in demand so hey showers, hot water in the sink. Hot water running water let's go here and I got a power there we go I got a really nice power um, jet pump in the basement that brings the water in from the lake so this is um, the state of the art as far as I'm concerned when you have hot water like this what more can you ask for and uh, jet pump in the basement I have a switch here that my friend put in for me so I would have So I would have the pump turned on as I needed it. So I mean, you, I don't even have to go in the basement. Plug in the generator, turn the switch on, everything's running. Can't ask for anything better than that. So I'll shut these lights off. And the basement, um, I have the lights on down there. Let's see how everything is working today. The electrician, I think, put a lot of wires together that controlled lights here and there and everywhere willy-nilly, but. What do you expect? Some of these rednecks here, half of them are, you know, got their substance abuse problems. Let's see if this is working. Yep. So there is the um, the Bosch tank. Cost quite a bit of money, but I uh, got it um, a plumber in White Bar who picked it up for me from the distributor in North Van. So uh, I didn't pay as much as the guy was asking in uh, Kelowna. So there's all the gas fittings and the water, hot and cold. And there's the pipe that leads to the outside actually through my bedroom wall, the floor and the wall out. So um, I've insulated it, put some metal pipes or um, fire guards around it. And uh, man, I'm a, I'm a full-fledged contractor now. I know how it works. And here we are. This is fantastic. What more can I ask for? A jet pump. This little baby cost me 199 at Princess Auto. And the plumber, um, Jason Greenberg from Lake Two, who's a licensed plumber and pipe fitter, gas fitter, he installed this. But my good friend, Murray, came here and set it up. And he even put the gauge on it because the plumber didn't take it out of the box and put it on. So he, uh, he's not as uh, complete as Murray was. Murray uh, got the uh, pressure up on here with filling in the actual pump with water. And um, so as to uh, have the high pressure 21 PSI, runs around, I think, 30, 25 to 40, 30 to 40 PSI pressure. So I'm really lucky I've got this. Now, here's what the kids had a great time with. Jennifer came for the first time in three years. Um, and here's the Seahawk. I've had this for about five years and never got used, maybe twice. So we patched up a, a wee little leak and Corn and the kids and Jennifer went outside and uh, and had, you know, had something to um, go in the boat. 
and enjoy because um, my friend who did work for me took his uh, canoe. So there's nothing here but that. And here's where the water comes out of the, um, of the uh, I was going to say castle because it's a starter castle. Everybody dubs this place my cabin, my house. That's what it's called. Anyways, I filled up that hole up there with a piece of wood. It probably won't stay very long, but I'll get a better piece and I'll fill that in. And so here's where the water comes out and goes into a deep hole, actually into a garbage can. Corn put holes in the can and uh, Sean dug this three foot hole and um, it fit in there nicely. So all the water goes through and of course the earth is really good here. So it's perking it and it doesn't go to the lake and pollute it. So we think riparian here. We do think about the environment, at least I do. And uh, this door is locked. So um, another rainy day in heaven. Okay, I'll shut this off and go upstairs and listen to the music.